I welcome you to my channel Practice to Perfect. Hope you are good and safe at home. Today I am back with the topic of birds and insects. Here kids have to remember about the important features of birds like its feathers, wings, beak. Although an important characteristic of birds is flying, there are some birds that don't fly. Insects are small animals with six legs. Most have wings and antenna. Just like birds, there are insects that can fly and some cannot fly. So, based on these, I have made a variety of questions to cover this topic. The first type of question is fill in the blanks. Now here, I have made around 8 to 10 questions in this category. Let us take question number 3. Name two birds that cannot fly. So, the kid can write ostrich and penguin here. Let us go to the next screen. Here also there are a few questions covering both birds and insects. Now let us see question number 8. Birds have dash that help them to fly. Now it is wings that help a bird to fly. So the word wings will go in the blank place. Let us go to the next screen and here the next variety of question is given. That is true or false. A small feature or characteristic of a bird or an insect is given here. After reading the question, the kid has to judge whether the information is correct or not. Accordingly, he writes whether it is true or false. Like, all insects can fly. The, question, the statement is false, so the kid has to write false here. Then, say question number 8, butterfly is an insect. Now, butterfly is an insect, that is a true statement. So, the, the kid has to write true for this question. The next type of question is find the odd one out. Here, for each question, there are three options given. Like for the first question, we see the three given options are pigeon, ostrich and kiwi. I have also given a small hint in the bracket beneath. Now, if we see the three options, we can find that ostrich and kiwi are two birds that cannot fly whereas pigeon is the bird that can fly. So among the three options, it is pigeon that is the odd one out. So in this category, there are around six questions for both insects and birds. Next, we will move to the question where we have to complete the spelling of the birds and insects. On the right side, an image of insect is given. While matching with the image, the kid has to write and complete the name of the insect on this page. Now, the first insect is mosquito. So, the kid will write O, Q and I in the blank places to complete the name of the insect. In the next screen, there are three birds and the kid has to match the name of the bird and complete the name of the bird by filling in the blank places. Now we move to the next type of question which is a puzzle. In this puzzle there are birds and insects name which is hidden in a vertical or in a horizontal pattern. Now let the kid find out the name of the birds and the insects on by themselves but in case they find it difficult they can refer to the names of the birds and the insects given on the bottom right corner here i come to the end of my video i am making these videos with the intention that you would make your child solve these questions so that they remain in touch with the topics which are already taught in school I hope you have subscribed to my channel and if not, then please click on the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get further notification of my new videos. Also, click on the share and the like button. Thank you.